You're doing meow. Hey, why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? I pressed the wrong button. Three, two, one, go. All right, disorganization. Disorganized. Uh oh, uh, uh. Already a bad run. That's fine. Run it back. You gotta really be good about knocking out the enemies because they cause a lot of lag, like so much lag. Oh. I didn't think I was gonna get that jump up there, but sometimes, sometimes that happens. You can jump from when the spouts are, like, higher than you think you'd reach, but it'll, like, get vacuum sucked to the top of it, and you don't expect it, so then you just fall off. <laughs> Hidden item. Hidden item. Oh my god! Yo, Future Cops is so good. It, it, you know, it's not like, like, you know, it's not good in the ways that are considered for awards or anything as far as the Western standard. But I love that movie. I love it so much. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Well, I don't want to tell you why because it'll kind of spoil it. Um, there's just a, there's a certain character in that movie that I really enjoy. I don't want to say because it'll kind of spoil the, the surprise of it. Uh oh, whoa. Very laggy. Haha, <laughs> basically. It's basically what the movie is, and I love it. Alright, you don't want to bump into her because she will, uh, she'll start talking and you can't, you know, you can't move during the quote-unquote cutscene. He was gonna hit me, or I was gonna fall in the pit. Not necessarily in that order. Yeah, no, that whole movie is just amazing. You just kind of gotta let it, like, do its thing. 
to appreciate it. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's no health in this level. That's not good. I can do better than that. Before I found out that there were some extra hidden items, I had a 100% time of 515, so I can do better than that. Honestly, I'd rather not do it on an arcade stick, but I don't feel like unplugging it and grabbing the other controller. We deal with it. See, now I went over five minutes. I'm still kind of trying to figure out all the triggers for all the different endings. I mean, different, there's like two, three endings. There's one where he just stands and stares off the cliff. I think that's if you die. Um, you just stand there. I think if you beat it, um, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed. If you beat it under five minutes, you get the ending where he gets off the train. So that's like good ending. But then uh, if you grab all the hidden items and we're going to see if the five minute mark matters here. I'm going to confirm that right now. Um, we're going to see if we get the best ending in my opinion. either way, so there's a split between 100% and all hidden items. You can skip grabbing the coins and whatever power-ups you want, um, and just grab the hidden items, so that's one category. And then 100%, obviously, you grab everything possible. Um, that's what I just did. So I want to see... This was... So, it's it was advertised as being an old Famicom game that somebody found in a garage sale on an NES part. Um... It's also a flash game, so it's like, did they, did they really, it's, uh, I don't know if it's genuine or not, I can't be sure of it, be, you know, you have to go by somebody's word on the internet, are we, are we just doing that, is that what we're doing now, somebody said, hey man, got the garage sale, real, like, but can't you just say that, but anyway, um, Okay, so yes, that triggers the good ending regardless. Okay, or the best ending, like I was saying. Enjoy! This is the only thing that happens. And the music only plays once. Fun fact, I let this run overnight on my Raspberry Pi. Um, it was running for a couple hours before I went to bed, but I noticed every 12 to 16 minutes, I don't know if somebody really wanted to go in and count, um, it seems to alternate, and I don't know if it's on a set path, but the screen will reset how it just dropped down to where the coffin is, but the coffin will be in different positions on the screen, and the screen slowly creeps back up to the scene with the tombstone and the water in the back and the sun. Um, and after 12 hours, it had basically made it back to where it was and continued the loop, so I was like, is there a massive secret if it makes it to the top of the screen? Doesn't seem to be, unless I missed something. Dracula was alive the whole time. Right. Well, let's give that another go. I was also contemplating... Okay, let me start with, uh, first of all, the runs that are on the board, the miscellaneous run that I explained, because that Flash version of, on the web browser doesn't work anymore, it let you skip cutscenes, so there, that's obviously the fastest way you ever could have done it. But people have tried going on the Wayback Machine to try to use it, and it just doesn't work. It's just not a thing anymore. So that's what the miscellaneous run of the board is for that category. 